All right. Hello, everyone. A little early this week. I'm uh, on the lawn Friday. We had a ton of rain this week, and man, the lawn looks good. If you take a look um, at some of these photos and the video that I shot today, I'm I'm super impressed with how how good it just is looking after just a couple days of rain and obviously all the work and prepping getting the uh, organite down getting some nx uh, next products down aerating uh, pre-emergence um, i mean take a look at this lawn i mean the inside here by the pool area looks spectacular i have to say it's probably the best i've seen it in quite some time so uh, I mean, if, if you take a look at, you know, anywhere in the yard where I was having problem areas, you're seeing that it's quickly um, filling in the Bermudas, um, really getting that explosive growth that I was hoping to get a couple weeks ago, and uh, cutting it short. Um, is really making it push um, out instead of up um, and that's what I've probably done wrong the last couple of years is just haven't really uh, done a lot with um, you know keeping the grass getting it to push out I put all the energy in getting it up and keep it a green and then whatnot so really happy with the pool area uh, taking a step out front I mean if you take a look at the, uh, the domination stripe um, I'm, I'm really happy with the way that it's looking um, still getting used to low, uh, mowing this low. I'm, I'm uh, hitting some areas where I'm uh, burning it up a little bit, but um, I'm okay with that. The grass is pretty wet right now. It just did get raining. Uh, pro probably finished raining three hours ago, and it rained yesterday too, so we've got a lot of moisture in the lawn. Uh, but looking at the front parking, um, it's greening up. It's filling in um, the front, uh, front yard in front of the house there. Um, is looking good. Um, so I've got some problem areas up by the tree. Um, you know, it just doesn't get as much sunlight, so it, it always tends to be a little bit of a problem. Um, uh, the backyard, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with too. You know, just taking a peek over the fence here, you can see uh, it's nice, it's green, it's filling in. The, uh, uh, the, the spots where maybe I got a little heavy handed with the uh, RGS and Next products. Um, it's getting a little bit better blended, so I'm happy with the color and response I'm getting. Um, before I go much further, I always like to share you, with you guys, um, I'm not a big light beer drinker. I, I prefer a good beer. Um, but I'm trying to watch the waistline. Michelob Ultra. This is the pure gold. I had to give it a try. It's all right. Um, it still tastes like diet beer to me. So, uh, But it's Friday night. We should all be enjoying a beer. So today, um, I actually uh, took some time um, after a good rain. I always like to try to get out and do a little bit of the, the harder yard work that deals with digging. And uh, I use this uh, pro planting tool. Um, I believe uh, one of the guys on YouTube, uh, Grass Daddy, recommended it a couple of years ago and I bought one. And uh, so I'm going to just show you guys how I did some. Uh, plugging out in the yard and I'll just let my video uh, explanation kind of run of what I was doing out there but basically where I had one big area where um, I killed off everything because of the Dallas grass um, it just is going to take a lot longer for that to fill in so I thought I'd give it a jump start by um, pulling some plugs out of the Bermuda and uh, you know letting um, that Bermuda kind of fight off that Dallas grass that's in there it's just a pain trying to pick it out of there. It's actively growing again. It's the worst weed um, I've ever dealt with. Um, but this Pro Plugger is pretty cool. One thing I didn't do in the video that, that uh, I showed was it actually has different depths that you can set it at. There's different rings that you can uh, slide on. So you can take um, smaller plugs or in my case I'm trying to take the deepest plug I can and uh, that way I'm getting some aeration. Um, when I'm doing it, plus I like that deeper plug because my roots are actually, uh, knock on wood, because probably because of RGS, but I was getting roots that were pretty darn deep. I want to say I've seen uh, uh, easily, um, I don't know if it tells you on here what size this is, but I'm going to guess one, two, two and a half to three inches there. 
um, a Bermuda grass roots, which um, is what I need going into July and August. So anyway, enjoy the video and uh, we'll talk on the other. bucket because what we're going to do is get rid of all this bad crap. How I'm going to tackle the Dallas grass this year is with this. So it's a planting tool and I've got a ton of great sod just sitting there ready to be put in. I've showed you guys some plugs earlier. So I've got some Dallas grass all over in here and it's alive and actively growing and I don't want to keep you know trying to kill it killing off my Bermuda so here's how I'm gonna tackle it pull out a plug pull out a plug of them down in here. Some of this has Dallas grass, some of it just has dirt. You can see the plugs. And so what I'm going to do is go pull the, some good Bermuda from other parts of my lawn and I'll plug those into these holes and then I'll fill the dirt that I have in that potting into the holes that I pull in the yard. And I'll have Bermuda in here fighting off the Dallas grass while I have Bermuda filling in the plugs that I pulled from the good grass. So stay tuned, I'll show you the rest of it. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it into this nice good Bermuda that I have. We're going to pull enough plugs to fill all the holes that I got over there. So here we go. I, don't, I like to keep them spread out a little bit so I'm not um, really, you know, creating another issue. Great for aeration too. Sometimes you gotta, with the good grass, it's rooted. Well, sometimes it just isn't gonna come out. See, I've got all these plugs down in here. Thank you. 
All right. So now I'll go pull some more, fill in the rest of these, and then I'll show you how to backfill the holes over here. All right, I should have enough plugs here. Finish this up. after how we fill those other holes. All right, so I got all these holes to fill, um, but the grass around them is great. It's Bermuda grass, so it doesn't take a whole lot. What I'm gonna do, grab my cup, make myself not have to grab so many handfuls here. Again, just take in some good potting soil, not anything else, filling that hole in. So here's the final result. You can see all the holes. I don't really fill them all the way to the top. And all that loose dirt will just fall down in. Sorry for the shadow. Not a professional photographer by any means. But all of the, uh, all the holes will, with the grass, with the Bermuda growing as active as it is right now, it will literally, um, in about two weeks, pretty much those holes will hardly be noticeable. Here's one I did a couple weeks ago, um, right there, and uh, you can see there's another weed coming up right there too, but you can see it's pretty much filled in completely. Here's another one from a couple weeks ago, um, right there. So it doesn't take long when the Bermuda is actively growing, and then here's the, the plugs that we actually put in today, and you can see you know, I don't get crazy close. It's Bermuda grass. I've got a lot of Bermuda surrounding where all that Dallas grass was. So I'm just hoping that I can shrink up where the Dallas grass was going into fall. And then that way, I'm not fighting as big of a battle next year. Um, you know, it's just, you know, baby steps sometimes. Here's some of the plugs that I did earlier. I showed you the holes over there. And then you can see those plugs pretty, pretty well. They're doing pretty good. Um, in there uh, you know it's, I'd love to have done the whole thing but I also have Bermuda grass which is going to do a lot of the work for me so all in all I'm very happy with uh, the plugger we'll talk a little bit more about it all right so um, you know that I, I think it's a great tool the pearl plugger um, 
not something I use year round. I typically use it in the spring, in those trouble spots. Um, it's a lot cheaper than going by and sod. And uh, I'll keep you guys updated uh, each week as uh, we kind of progress through the springtime here of how um, those plugs are um, growing in the areas that I plugged and then the areas that I just threw some dirt in, uh, potting soil, we'll kind of keep you updated on uh, how that looks. But um, all together, uh, still got the whole weekend ahead of me, got to work on the deck, um, getting ready for uh, some new lawn uh, furniture to come in, uh, got a new umbrella coming in, and uh, um, probably going to mow again on uh, Sunday, maybe tomorrow morning, depending on, on the weather. Uh, what's going on out there so uh, hope you guys are going to have a great weekend hope you're drinking delicious beer um, I don't really have anything else to talk to you guys about so have a great weekend we'll talk to you on the other side